Okay, guys, uh, we start to speak today already was fantastic because I was thinking that uh, it's most useful that we speak, that we communicate. If you have some question, you can ask me for, uh, for some situation what I'm going to speak. My topic today is mental preparation and mental moments. We already saw some pictures, but I will come. And I have only theoretical part. This is maybe not interesting that much. That's why I ask you that we speak about this topic. What that means, mental preparation for, for, uh, for one big match. What that means, mental prepara preparation. What I had the most problem in my coach life, and this is only two years, it's how to prepare the team for, uh, that we know that we are already won the match. This is for me, as you ask me now, with these two years, this experience, most difficult part. All of this situation we can discuss about tactic, we can attack, as I discussed about 6-0, 5-1 situation, uh, situation how to play uh, free throw, passive game, three. All of this we have a lot of ideas and I think also that you have also a lot of ideas about this. Everything that I spoke with the uh, most uh, I, about um, with uh, experienced coaches, every one of you, I think, also the same thinking. What is the key and how to motivate? Uh, how to motivate the team that we already know that we are the winner? That we are. This is the mental situation, and I think, and I include motivation of the players for the small matches, either let's say to respect all of these clubs for a small matches, what I had with West Prem situation against. For, for example, NECA, when I lose the point, but in that case, you lose the, lose, lose the point and you can lose the championship. This is what was more painful. How to motivate the team when you won the first game, 13 goals in the Champions League in the second and the next, three days, for three days you go to play against one young team, all of respect for this team, and you lose a point, you lose, almost lose the league. This is something that is kind of motivation and preparation for this match. Okay, let's speak. We are, what is motivation, hard work, discipline, this is what we are, sacrifice and determination. For this team, for these players, of course it's for me, but I said, these things, it's very important. Hard work we have, they, are, they have very good work ethic, this is no problem with this. Also discipline, it's my job how to put the team to be disciplined. That is also some players who is not disciplined, how to, how to uh, not punish. I don't like to punish the players, but I have to control this that I had situation. I, I will explain open to speak with you everything, to open situation with Maie, with Petar, with now with Remili. This is the fantastic players, but you have to put them in the team. And when we are talking about discipline, they, everyone has to understand. For me, it's much easier and I will speak with Lauge. Lauge, you give him your team and you said you are the captain, you have to control and this is fantastic because his personality is fantastic. And this is every one of you, you will have wish to have Lauge in your team as a captain as well. And we are talking all about determination. This is that. What I said, we said, we come back for this topic, we are thinking how to motivate in one case, uh, <coughs> in one case the team with a weak uh, opponent and one case the team with a, with, a, with a strong opening, for example. We are talking about microcycles. Microcycles about the physical part, tactical part and this mentally preparation. Speak about this. How it's going and I want to share with you <coughs> one week how I am doing in West Prem. For example, when then I have this Champions League match and I have here Hungarian League matches. In one case, I changed differently for a second, first year to, to the second year, how I was working and what was in any case successful and what wasn't successful. It's not everything because it was the season like this. For example, this is how I'm planning one week. For me, this in the Hungarian, in the, in the West Prem, this is the top. This is what we prepare. We have in Hungarian league, let's say, Seged, Tatabanya, Churgo outside, Fradi outside matches, Ferenc Varos, where will be a little bit difficult. I didn't expect this match in NECA. And this is what was my mistake as a coach, that I put 
the other players and they want to rest uh, to rest uh, main players who play who play in second for a second match. If you remember one fantastic example, Dragan, please remind me, <coughs> Celia 2004 won yeah. the Champions League. Yeah. 13 goals for 13 Ademar. 13 goals in Ademar Leon. The same situation, but in that time I uh, was doing uh, <coughs> Manolo Cadenas, fantastic coach and all of these things. He some players left at home because was thinking it's everything over. It was semi-final. Semi-final, if I remember good. This situation is very, very difficult and it's coming again, it's coming again. And I will give you a lot of examples. But okay, let's come back to this, this week, how I'm planning in micro, uh, microcyclus. Okay, for me, when we are looking, we start the week from here. If you are looking from this, okay, that means sometimes in the Hungarian league, it was risky, that's why I tell you, it was risky because I didn't count too much on this match. Sometimes I put here gym, and sometimes I play this kind. Depends if it's at home. Match I can play, uh, I can put the gym here. If it's outside, it's traveling and you cannot play like this. But after that, it's gym, but how we were doing? Gym, half an hour and handball session. That means always after the video, they go with the physical coach in the gym, they prepare themselves. Sometimes it's working for only if some players have some pain or working with the warm up, a little bit uh, strength situation, what they need, what is necessary. And they come ready to the handball training. This is the, what I changed for this season. They come ready to this handball training. I don't come with the, with the physical coach <coughs> in arena and we start immediately training. What is peak on my training or peak of the week? This training. And this training is here, peak with, together with the gym, <coughs> where I put more intensity on the training. This is more intensity, more intensity, more intensity, and they go full. This training today plus 60%, 50% more, what that's mean. Also, I put and play on two goals, but I play without center or without, uh, how to say, the, the fast center or something like this. And work, work, work. I want to have high intensity of the training. We have this possibility with uh, Kinexio to measure how the players are. And this is important that they call, we call this Magdeburg training. This Magdeburg training gave us this Magdeburg training, we measuring our players in the match of Magdeburg, and that was, we want to have this uh, training to, com to, uh, to come in close to the... Coming close to the... Coming close with this match, how much is possible. That means it's high intensity. After that, how we are doing? We deload the training on Tuesday, completely. We, do, we deload, we recover the players, and after the last training of the, of the, before the match, it's only to wake up them, we call wake up training like this. They react with the fast things, with the short things, and some small uh, tactical things to prepare for our next Champions League match. That was what was freshness. We are talking, we are looking about that they, are, they have physical part, what I said, that they, have, they are fresh, they have, uh, prepare the legs and they have tonus in their muscle. This is the idea of this microcyclus. Sometimes I give them recovery, sometimes I give them day off because it's completely, it's normally what was before, it's now it's Sunday and this is how we are working in this moment. Okay, when we have this mental preparation for a Champions League, I want to explain you. That is this talking about the theoretical part, video analysis and practical part. What is of the theoretical part? I put only one example, sometimes I, I give them. This is only that some examples how I, I wrote them, what that means uh, for Seged. It's a lot of papers, it's a lot. Of, they have already how we are doing with the individual skills of the players, we send them. We have some group, we have some uh, um, uh, sidelines. As a possibility to send them, they are watching individual uh, skill of the players. Then after we are looking team tactical of the opponent, and then after must be transfer from video to practical part. What is immediately after that? This is not that much. 
Okay, this is what I said, practical part. Okay, we are looking about this. That's why I put these names and uh, also I thinking. Where I did mistake, I will tell you honestly, this is what I immediately recognize. That people said, you can learn from the other, you can <laughs> learn from your mistake as well. I will explain you what was my mistake, some two, three examples, it was a lot of in the, my beginning of the career. Pepe de Zagreb, Vesprem, we lost this match. Vesprem, GOG, and okay, Neka, what I already said. But I am looking for Pepe, Z Pepe de Zagreb, and you know the, what was the question. Manuel Sterlek, player, asked me that in Zagreb, because he is from Zagreb, first match we played, we won at home, and he said to me, Momo, can we stay completely team after the match? My birthday is there to celebrate. He is, I organize everything, bus will stay there, I organize, can we, this was the question of, oh. of course the players, as you know, they will ask and they have rights, all of these rights in the, but this is our job, to allow them or not to allow them. And this is what was question, I said, okay, like, without, without uh, uh, experience without the questions, I said, okay, guys, you can stay, blah, blah, no, no problem, let's go, blah, blah. Hey, Momo, we will do everything, we will win. No head, no focus, no motivation. They are looking only after how they will go to celebrate. And this is totally true. I will tell you also what we lost, and I was a player, and I finished four years ago my career, and I was with Matic when we won, <coughs> we won the Czech Republic, Eight goals or nine goals, I don't remember now, don't. in niche, and we lost 11, 12, 13, I don't. This is always example, a lot of examples, but we are talking about what to allow as a coach, what not to allow as a coach. This is what is. And of course, learning from your mistake. Situation after what I have mentally preparing, the team after the national team. This is the second problem what I had after the national team, the players, how to practice with them, how they come, how they are tired, and all of this shape, what they use or what they, uh, what is more important, uh, how to recover there, because they are emo, uh, empty, emotional empty. And this is what is the problem. They come from their country because they, they have, or we have, Inside or outside motivation? We are talking about inside motivation, what you feel for your country. I said to the players, we spoke about this, that of course, uh, one Lauge come from, from a national team, he won the, he won the, the, the gold, or one Emily comes, or, <coughs> or Mae, they lost the final. It's the same problem. Maybe a little bit better for Lauge, of course, it's a little bit better. And this is what I had the problem with, uh, with the players after the national team. Always when we go after the national team, we go down. And you have to put the team together and you have the problem because they play the other, other system with the national team. They have to come back uh, for a, for a, a Vesprem and this take time and they will lose some matches. What was the point here? And of course, we are talking about this situation in ECA. Okay, we are looking for this picture and for this picture. When we are looking for this kind of matches, what I have in that kind of situation, how I was using. <clears throat> what you can react, the, let's give some example, it's a lot of situation, how do you can react? You can react, for example, as a coach, first thing to prepare with the video, to speak about the opponent, to speak about quality of the opponent more than weak side. But what if they know how is opponent? They are not stupid. The players are not stupid. They are, aha, Momo speak, <laughs> it's easy, it's 10 goals, with the left hand, something like this. Aha, you have, to, you have to speak with them, you have to tell them, but it's always some examples. It's better that you use bad examples from the opponent or from the others than from your, your mistake. In case of this, that you prepare and they not react, you have to react with the one speech, with the second speech, and the third one is coming in, in the locker room before the game. If still it's not working, what is the idea? You have to choose the players. What is? Some players to attack them. 
This is what was the question. To adapt them. Okay. When we are looking about Dragan Pešparak, he is fantastic guy. This is guy. It's fantastic. Coming, giving everything. And always it's, he wants to play. Sometimes it's over motivated. In that case, you have to calm him sometimes down. But in this match, it's fantastic uh, driving. It's, you can push him in that case, that he react for a defense on one situation, and then it's necessary five or ten minutes good of this match, and then it's good you win the match. Also, for these guys, fantastic player, fantastic player, and the moment of motivation, it's for this kind of matches, zero. For big matches, fantastic. What that means, if you push him directly to face, he will react, he will be different, and he will show you, and this is what he has, fantastic character, and I'm going to show you that I hear. And this is also some situation when I can react, it was. This guy is completely different. This guy is completely different culture, completely different uh, personality. And also this guy, you don't need to push him. You have to speak emotional, and this is the three kinds of motivation. You have stick, carrot, and heart. With this guy, what is stick, stick, carrot, and heart. We are talking about this. When you said to him, what was your question, to know the players. Now I know much better, but it's after two years. This is, you have to speak and you have, this guy, you have to tell him, I want team today, he will give me. I want this, he will give me. But if you push him, like this guy, you will lose him. This is what is, what is totally different thinking about the players, to, to know your player very well, how they are, how they come, do they have some problem, and that's why we can move. It's more leadership than some coaching, tactically, all of this. This is a fantastic team, fantastic players. You have to, to know how to lead. Sometimes I pick this, sometimes not. This is our life. We are talking about this, what I said already. Okay. One more thing, mental moments. I, I will not then I will let you because we are getting tired. I will. Mental moments. This is what I said about the weak matches and about these mental moments. I call it like this. I will translate you what that means that you understand me very well. In that case, I'm two years coach and I don't know how, but I will explain you what was. I have more pressure for a small matches than for big. Why? Because they are motivated. They are like this, they are motivated, and they have these high level matches they want to play with the motivation of the players, with players proving, and also success of the team. And every one of them, what we have in the West Prem, what uh, Seged has, what Se Barca has, the same the problem, because they don't have strong league, different is German, different in France. This is what I saw and what I recognize as a coach, that big matches, they go. You just have to control in some case and you have, to, you have to change, you have to make, of course, tactically, strategy, all of this planning, but this is much easier. And all of this, what I have situation, it's, uh, what is, it's better to calm some players than to push. It's much easier. This is what we are talking about. Okay, we are looking at this situation and I can give you one. What that mean mental moments? Mental moments in one match. Always after. In my first year, in my first year, I was thinking, okay, this is something the players will react. I, I was, I know I'm much better coach than for my first year. Let's imagine in, in three years. Let's imagine in four years. This is how it's, it's working as a player as well. But look at this. I give some examples here, how was the situation, mental moments, why we won this match with the, not, no one expect this result, but it was the beginning of the match, it was the equal, they missed the penalty, we missed the fast break, they, they lost the ball, we, we made the foul attack, who will win this moment, in the end, we turned again, we won the, this situation, if you see the result, penalty, Lauge, all of this situation, 3-0, 4-0, 4-1, 5-1. How is going the result? If you are looking on this, 
this is the moment, all of this moment is coming in the big matches where we have to react in the... And it was a lot of situation that we won. It was a lot of situation that we lost. How you can control, and I have remembered that guys asked me, how you can control leading the final night goes 45 minutes and this moment you lost. This is the topic of this, what is coming. The moment of, of Slovenia, uh, Croatia also. Nine goals or eight goals, I don't remember now, and then lost. This is situation when it's going the, the match down or opposite side, then you have to stop. How to stop? How to react? We are thinking the topic is situation. Pressure is coming on your side. You don't have any more disadvantage if the start like this, then you have to control. If you remember also in basketball, what is the mental moment and mental situation where we are talking and, and Dragan said also, if you see the partisan, Belgrade in basketball, 2-0, 2-0 Real Madrid, they are with one step in the, in the final four and they lost. This situation is open topic, I like to speak about this and it's, I don't know that no one can, can give me exactly what is the true, how to manage. Okay, we are looking now how to manage. You have to stop with the timeout when you start. What you have to tell them, or you have to react with the one player who is change something, who brings something. What if it's not working? How to stop? More pressure is on your side, more pressure is on your side. Partizan Belgrade in basketball is also uh, leading 20 points in the cup, of, also, also in the cup against Red Star, and they lost. Those, all those of this situation, it's question it's for all of us, but is you can solve or you cannot solve. If we are talking, it's a lot of situation why we lost this kind of matches. This is question for all of us and how to manage this. Okay. <clears throat> okay, I put this. When we are talking about moments and we are talking about uh, about uh, how to lead a team in the one game. It's a lot of up and down situation. You try as a coach to hold this, that you don't go that much. You can cut with the timeout. You can change. You can, what, what they are doing, put the pressure on the main players who can react. All of this strategy you can use, or you depends which players you have. That's why you, your question was fantastic. You have to know your player how they will react, who will give you situation if it's like this. If you have to pick a point, I, I can say that was the situation with my first season with Petar Nenadic, but I didn't have solution. I put him and he should score some goals. So it was, it was working, sometimes meet, sometimes shoot, but he, at least he goes. And you have to find always some, some guys what was in case to put, who can... Uh, <coughs> Who can plan this? You cannot. You can prepare your team and you have to react on the match. What is reaction of the match? To see what is opponent training uh, coach is doing. That's why I put this picture because Dragan saw the young coach last season. Uh, he was in Tatabanya and he gave me a little bit more answering. Uh, more questions, sorry. More questions. Put 5-1 with the tall one. If I go with the wing situation, he goes back to 6-0 and then how I react as a coach, as a young coach. That time was, and I like always now, more than last season, to give or to have like in chest this white, like figures or something like this, white. Because always it's much easier that you put something and the coach is the other opponent yes. to answering this is. I can give you a little, I share with you some opinions, but I remember this situation when he put me, that's why I put this, uh, this picture and this <coughs> example, how it's coaching and the leading one team in one match. And this moment, we are talking about this moment. Also, one more example. When we are looking now, final. Some situation, what I said, strategy of the coach. You can practice, but sometimes you cannot planning everything. And what was the situation 22-20 in the final for Kiltz? Who can expect that this guy will die? Stop, they have this, they change somehow, they won the match. And some things I am sure that you cannot plan and you cannot. How many times Talent won the Champions League with 
we'll see that they are now two, two times in the row final and they lost. This is our life, guys, coach life. Now I know <laughs> very well. You cannot uh -huh, recognize this is what we're doing. You cannot planning, you cannot. But that's why I love because it's interesting and we can speak, we can learn a lot. Thank you for your attention. I think it's, it was cool. If you have any question, you can ask me. I do, I have a question. Yeah, please. You used to work with uh, such good coaches. Bushwa, probably, they don't know who is Bushwa, but they are serving, you know. How he does motivate the people? And I want to also ask about them. This is what they serve. Serve some. Okay. We are looking now, it's okay, that uh, generation are changing. And you have a situation today, I spoke in the, in the car when I came here with um, one girl. She is the leader of the big, huge company. Huge yeah, company like this, like uh, what was um, Delta Holding. She is from my hometown, Aranjelovac, Maria Desivojevic, fantastic leader. Fantastic leader, lead completely every, I don't know how many people is under her. And she said to me that situation about motivation, you have stick, what was Gujwa was using in that time, the, the old methodic, but it's changing always. You have this carrot. If you are doing this, or probably I should said to guys what was in Zagreb, this situation, hey guys, <coughs> you can celebrate, you can do whatever, but I need victory. If you don't win, we go home. Something like this, for example, or what I'm using in uh, small matches. Hey guys, plus 15, tomorrow rest in the Hungarian league. Like this, change always. Noka was same system, even tough than Guzva. Did Guzva was more, um, more, um, how to say? Uh, uh, this, he has this feeling. When to let how to let, he was from the street and he was managing sometimes, you know, this situation. Do you understand me what I mean? Okay. Yes, with a, with, a, with, a, with a nice feeling. Noka was very tough, German system, German system, and he didn't let you know one centimeter that you know freedom and always push. What was seven players, after that he can give them, you know, who was and how he was working. He was working like this. I pushed, put you in the out of the comfort zone, all the time, all the time, all the time, and then after I let you. This is what, what was his thinking. I'm talking with him almost every day. But this methodic now, I don't think so that is good. Because the generation are changing. Look at the guys, how they are. TikTok, TikTok McDonald's, the they don't. <coughs> and I how, think how this, this, wait, wait, wait. I think what I spoke with her today, it's mix. But we said also, it's mixed. Sometimes this depends what you have. And sometimes also what I said with Lauge, like this, in last, before the second match, second match we were crying together. Because he was the, honestly, I will tell you from my heart, I, I had a situation, honestly, that the situation was, lost the quarterfinal, lost the first match of uh, playoff, and you go back, destroy everything. And we had a conflict. I will tell you, we had a conflict, a small conflict in the locker room. Now, before the, in the half time after that, I saw the destroy everything. That was finished. Because that's why I said, you cannot push him. And this was the, the after that, he was also hot, I was also hot. And this is a situation where you, the high level and high pressure. What I said, two days, three days, I didn't sleep because we have Mon uh, Friday, Monday, second match. You have to attack some, how? You have to attack some players, you have to do what to do. <coughs> I did in front of the group, direct attack, Nedim Remili. That was two days he didn't speak with the guys, two days he didn't speak with the, he come to me and say like this, hello, and I said to him also like this, and two days was like this. My decision, what was, all this all the night I didn't sleep, Sunday to Monday, I couldn't sleep. And I didn't wait, I couldn't wait that, morning time to invite him into my room. I invite him and I said today I want that you are playmaker and I decide we start with a young one right back, Ilic. That was 
it's the right feeling decision. Feeling this, now it's the right decision, we can speak, maybe if you lose, it's not the right decision, who knows and what is. And then change everything. But this is topic what we can discuss, all of us, how. I think it's, you have to find the minus, uh, middle position, balance with this. Some to push, some to give carrot, some with emotional. This is three things. Vlado Stencer, for example, do you know who is Vlado Stencer? This is one... Sorry? Man of many. Man of many. I'm talking with him. And he said to me one fantastic what was in that time in Srvenka, in ex-Yugoslavia. He said to me one how he was motivated because with the, these matches he had the bonus, possibility of the bonus. Some of them likes to play for, for a money. <coughs> I think it's his fifth or sixth place in kind of motivation. I think in this level now, maybe that time was successful. It's every time for every time. He said to me, this is short motivation. What that's mean? They play Saturday match, Monday you have to give them money. You cannot cheat them. And they are looking, some of them, aha, Monday. It's 100 euro, 100 euro. They are waiting for this. And he said to me, please motivate with this. Okay, it can be also one situation for, but who knows? This is big topic for all of us. Someone else? Red light, but that's me. Red meaning. line. A line? Like a rules. What does mean red line? Ne, ne okay, ne this pred... is what he starts to speak postaš. about with the players, you mean? Do you mean with the players? No, your uh, personal. Personal, yes, yes. Personal, before the, your uh, rules. Side rules, maybe. They can use the club. System or manager. This is if you want to have a peace in the coach life at the beginning, you have to put the rules. Put the rules outside of the court. How it's coming. This is the situation with the discipline. Everything it's in the in the big companies, in the big clubs, or not the only big. Put the rules. What is for this team? What is? I don't know, clothes, all of this situation, or the rules in the handball, rules in the defense, rules how we defending situation one on one, how we defending situation two on two, how we covering. Put the more rules, players will adapt for this. If you put players at the beginning, they will say, like we spoke today, no, oh, this is not good. But if they eat this, I said, if they eat this trick, or this situation, after they will get used and they will adapt and they will accept this very well. What that means, if you put the rules, more rules, more happy life. And this is, then after you have to control, you cannot go down that much, this. You have to always prove that this is the rule. And what was fantastic, what I learned in the football, reaction, what is the rule? For example, in the tactics, mean reaction, reaction, for example, running back, it's our part when you play against Georgi or Danish, Danish car or Magdeburg. This is, you cannot, they cannot score easy goal. They can not score a fast break. And everyone, bench has to jump, run back. That was the rule for this match, that bench has to jump. The players who are sitting, this is the main part why we, where we cannot go under this, uh, this uh, red line, how to say. I hope that I, yeah. that I answer you in the world, maybe I, I didn't understand that much. What was your question? Satisfied? Yeah. Uh, ask me, ask sometimes, me. Sometimes uh, we need to uh, some details on the, if you want to show our system, uh, not only on the court, maybe, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, if they, uh, you want to be agree with your. Uh, your player, uh, and your system. Uh, you want to show uh, some personality. How, how am I? Who am I? Uh, as a as a coach or, or a as a coach and uh, and personality and same. I think this is individual. This is how you are as a person, and you can come. You can be. I don't know. You. I think that you have to be yourself. 
and this is my, this is my opinion. Okay, I can be uh, now. I have a lot of contact with the coaches, and I want to do like no car. I want to do like said Hasan Efendi or like Islas. This is differently. I am like Momi really. This is this is how personality. Stop. Then immediately. Immediately. Then. No. This is only you put under tepi, under table everything. Stop immediately and this is the way how you want to say. Don't look at the, the names. You can cover, you can speak. But it's better now if you stop it. That was my mistake. I think what I didn't, I gave too much freedom to, to, to some players. Some players in the attack, in the defense there is no freedom. Must be discipline, must be principle. All of this, the rules, it's put, there is no question. But also in the fast break, what we did, for example, today. But in attack, I give them some freedom and they change completely. And I lost some players in the quarterfinal. That was, Lauge was, in the, when, when we speak about second match, eight finals, fantastic. Both matches, also cup, he scored. We won the cup, he scored 10 goals. And then suddenly, boom, because we... Let this, it was a little bit, I know what is the question, but there is no. But I think it's much better that we are direct and we say direct, what is not. You, it, it's only the way how you say. You don't need to scream, but I don't like, and we can speak open. Remily, for example, said to me from my first call, he said to me, Momo, we have to be open. I like this. It's fantastic. I don't like... Uh, this that you push or coaches what I had with talent push me in front of the group or something you know I don't like this okay but okay if I don't like something I have to tell you this is okay and we are talking about this and it's better that you discuss it that means this is not critic players are always like this if you say okay we can discuss what do you think or ask him for a question what do you think about this situation where you have to go or what you want to do with this situation. And after this, you can correct this mistake. It's not, not only to push, to attack. It's way how we can be better. And this is, I think it's much better that we are open. But it's only the way how you tell this. If you don't like something, if you have one idea how you want to play, and they don't play, you have to change, you have to react. Also in the game, also in the t before in the training, then game, and also what I'm doing, it's correction. Sometimes if I see that what I don't like something, I give them some examples. Sometimes individual, sometimes in the group. It depends how is the situation. I think that we should give a huge applause to Mami. And Mami, I have uh, some small oh. present to you. Uh, some memories for stay with us. Thank you. And some details what you will find inside about defense. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Very, very good.